Okay, no. I'm not leaving. I'm going on to the next thing. Until we finally resolve this mess. <sighs> so I was looking at the pillars again, and they always have to be the opposite of each other. And this one doesn't have a top, and this one doesn't have a bottom. The best I can think is to try to make them line up with each other, which we tried versions of before. Let's obliterate all the water real quick. Make this easier to compare. And I think it has to go like here. Is like they have to be opposites of each other, so they have to be able to fit into each other. And there's no oh, there's too many big chunks, like these only have single spaces. So, the best I can think is to let have them rest on top of each other, which feels very questionable because, like, it could be it could be anywhere up here. Like, I think part of why I'm struggling with this is because, like, even this, if it works, is a shitty solution, right? Like, that's almost no data to go on. I'm going to see if this works. Let's see. I like to do a little chalk texture. So do, 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 because that's where the things are. And then it'll be where the gaps are. So the second, the second one and the second to last, basically. Okay. Will this work? Hmm, okay. I got it, I guess. This one chunk of map's gonna be less infuriating to navigate. We're just in time for, for me to never use it again. Alright, well that's, that's the thing that's been itching at us for this entire playthrough, so at least that's over with. Uh, I don't like it. I don't think I like this puzzle. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the idea of having one pillar that's broken and one pillar that's underwater, so you can't, can't see the beginning of one and the end of the other and you have to figure out where they match up. It's just that the idea that they match up like that like, oh, well, right when we're right where one ends, the other one begins. Like, there's no data to tell you that those correlate with each other. So that's just like a leap. Like, there could be in, there could be any amount of space between the two of them. All you know is that they can't lock into each other elsewhere. The height also isn't consistent with the height of any of the other pillars we've seen. So it's not like we know how tall it is. Pillars are whatever size and width they want eventually. And I, I kind of was waiting for the binary to be part of it, because we had weird... I'm pretty sure we saw blue towers that incorporated the logic of the binary between this zone and there. So I was waiting for that to come up and thought that that was the breakthrough I needed earlier, and then it just wasn't. I do want to figure out if these do something. I've been trying... This whole time I've been thinking this has to be fast travel, right? all these spots Okay. So that's how fast travel works. I just started vaguely inputting, like, I'm like, at first I thought maybe you make it, because it looks like a 9x9 nine, nine, nine by nine grid, kind of. I was like, maybe you type those in.
Hmm. There was probably one that was alternating. My problem right now is that you have to guess. There's only so many combinations, so some of them I'll land on by just giving it a go. There's another one. Plus sign. Yeah, I'm just trying out the obvious shapes, basically. A circle, a plus sign, a grid, a stripe, but uh, there's no vertical stripe. That's a decent percentage of them, I guess. I think this would be the easiest one to backtrack from. I guess I might as well just fill them in just for the sake of satisfaction. There's no... We're never going to use these again, probably. But they might count as puzzles in some kind of total. If I ever find out, like, how many there are. Oh, yeah, this one's just the top two corners, so good luck remembering that. But I can then input it from here, I guess. So that's filled in. Ah, uh, this puzzle's not solved for me to be able to navigate. Uh, let's try the... Binary Mountain for getting down to the trees. I took a wrong turn. Oh god. I took a wrong turn trying to get to the water pillars again and ended up going around the entire map. So I've been I've been once again a little fixated on trying to figure out if there's fast travel or not. Because uh, every time I go the wrong way, it's such a long walk of just being confused and lost, because it's really hard to navigate this map. It's incredibly confusing to get around. Just because you're so restricted on your ability to move. And unlike the witness, you can't see ahead of yourself because it's top down. So your sense of spatial awareness is, at least for me, just way weirder. I always struggle way more with top down. <clears throat> Some people seem to not have any issue with it at all, but I don't understand how that's possible. It's the fire. I'm not looking for the fire, I'm looking for... The teleporter? Is it inside of here? It's like hiding behind there? That's a weird one, so it's like a Y. Okay. The next one's going to be on top of... It's gonna be that plateau area where there was like two puzzles and I solved them immediately when I found them. Ah, a little Z. Interestingly, like, when I teleport from a place, it, it suddenly seems to now be putting both of them onto the page. Like, this is not filled in. And now it is. So maybe I don't need to teleport back. But, like, why wasn't it... Why haven't these been filled in the map ever since I typed them in? Because if they showed up on the map the moment that I activated these beacons, then I would have been like, oh... I bet I can type that in, and then I would have typed them in, and then they would have worked, right? I don't know what to make of that choice. It's one of the things that was stopping me from inputting in different locations grid was just the fact that I'm like, I don't have them memorized. <laughs> it doesn't really come to mind as an option, but if they showed them to me, 
all the ones that I've, I've activated so far, then I'd be like, I bet you can type that in to go there. This one's just diagonal. Alright, that's every square filled in now. Just one less mystery, I guess. Now, the thing that looks like the ending. Or at least the thing that I've been earning all game, although I earned a long time ago, because I only had to finish X number of zones. Which itself is the thing from The Witness, where the top of the mountain requires X number of la la lasers to open. And there's a lot more zones with lasers than there are lasers required to open the thing. Buh, what am I looking at? Okay. Was it always like that? I guess they were always on a black background? It just looks weird that there's a black background behind these flower petals. I guess they made the, the background transparent, and those specific icons always have a background. So, but they, you, I think they so far have matched the environment's background, so they didn't look so starkly out of place. These are forced to be... Are they positive or negative? Okay, okay those are... Okay, that's, that's what a positive square looks like. It's black. Which is unusual. <clears throat> So these have to be completely surrounded by negative space. Um, oh. Uh, so this one's here, and this one's here, so that has to have a positive above it. But this has to connect to that, so that's going to go like all the way down here. Which means this is going to go like this. Because these two shapes have to match. But that connects to that, so... That is part of the shape, which means this is negative space, because that's where the other one is with respect to that. Ha! Huh. This is pretty free to do whatever right now. It could be like that and that, or there. It doesn't really matter right now which, which spot... Wait, no, 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 no. It has to, oop, it has to be there. It has to be there because the the shapes that match can only go over by one because of this wall. So that means that one has to end there. So that has to be a boundary for it. So it has to end there. Okay, that's pretty good. So this is definitely positive space. And it probably has to justify the entire surrounding area. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not seven. Ooh, it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or whatever. Uh, no. Hmm. I can cut that off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. Oh, that's eight. Yeah, it can't wrap all the way around here to make that shape the right size. This might be solved. It is. Uh. Oh. Now it's a hologram. So, um... Hello. That water looks like it's flowing upward. What? Um... Place the symbols in 
in order to solve the puzzle. The puzzles are solved and I'm placing the symbols. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what are we looking at here, guys? Okay, so the colors don't matter. It's just that there are three sets of two. This big thing is not one of them. Um... There's an L here. Is there a second L anywhere? This is like a big Z. There's a lot of these little threes. There's a two here. But nowhere else. I think we just have to put them all on these threes. Which seems kind of awkward. I guess so. I didn't even use the other three. The one that's actually rotated. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. They all have to match. So we're leaning once again on the idea of that witness puzzle where there's a sequence and the, and the same solution has to be true for all of them. Okay. Shit. So this is where you'd want to use these other symbols, potentially. So this and this could match. That's an improvement. The one up there would be teal and white. Now that one's not happy. Let's move the whites to these two corners, then no. That's so hard. The color contrast there is so hard. It's like white on white. Like, can you chill? Here, just to make you stop glowing so I can look at you better. Yeah, that's outside of the shape now. Are these even happy? That one's not happy. The other ones are. This is so much. Oh boy! Ugh. This is so much to look at. It's also my worst mechanic as we've been over before. This fucking shapes mechanic drives me crazy. So what's driving me crazy here is that like... So there is no one by 2 besides the one in the top right corner. Uh, there's no one by 3 besides the one on the right. Oh, the ones. Are the ones the solution? I bet something goes on both of these ones. Which are also at the tips of these two shapes. And then they're still happy there. Okay. That's something. The other square is here. That shape is noise, and that's a one by three. It's like, the square is made up of shapes that don't exist anywhere else on this one. 
Like one by three is nowhere, and that shape is nowhere, so I can't put one of them on that. I'm looking for, you have to look for things that match on different ones and see what we can do with that. This is a floating one in a map that has no floating ones. And here's a, here's a L that has no L's. There's these two shapes and those two shapes. But these two shapes, the only thing they share is these two dots. I switch these to make these happy and then this happy? No. Still not happy. I imagine it wants me to find a new shape. I'm just not sure how to make it happy there. It's like it can't be the two squares because this one's a mess. If I go for this piece, can I go for that? No, that's, that's, those are two totally different shapes. White. This doesn't feel possible. What am I? Mm. And this one also has to be happy. Those are currently happy. This map, this this page is almost entirely L's. How do I make both the, the L's happy? Like, there's these. Then that won't work here or here. No. Off the grid. Yep. Yep, giant shape down here. I don't... Ah! Where will you ever be happy? There is no one by three, right? Besides the one, I mean, like every time I say that, I mean that because there's no other one, because we have to find a set. The other two, the other two symbols are happy too. I just need to find one more spot. It's just so difficult. Like, does any variation of these work? Weird L's. And those are reversed L's. Like that one. These don't even slightly match up. I keep going back to the L one because it feels comfy how many options there are, but there's so many options that it's just wasting my time. There's no L here. We have this, we have two stairs, two squares, one pip, two whatever the fuck you want to call these. We definitely gotta escape that. What about these parts? 
No, big snake. Yeah, but it's down to just that one being wrong. <sighs> one positive pip, one negative pip. But these are different shapes. Two threes, so they could be near or opposite each other here. No. Totally incompatible shapes. Oh, oh man. Ugh. I just cut I just cut my recording just like out of a dawning horror of realizing how long I've probably been here already, and it's been a while. Shit. <laughs> uh, I've been staring at this one for a while. Okay. We're down to one symbol? Where the fuck does it go? <laughs> Uh Can't do anything with these squares, can I? There's two L's. Yeah, it's both L's. Mm, the opposite L would fit into it, so that's still solution. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh. It's a giant shape that's symmetrical. So the one big nightmare shape that seems completely incompatible with the idea of solutions, of course, is solvable because it's, it's symmetrical with itself. Hey! Nice, friendly diamonds! This is gonna be chaos. Okay. These have to be in a shape together, those have to be in a shape together, those have to be in a shape together. Right? Oh. I was ready for the next iteration, but that's just... A test to make sure I know what diamonds are. I'm like, where? Are, I'm like, surely. I'm like, how? How is the next version of this gonna throw me off? Because isn't isn't those the only places it could have gone? Everything else is too small. Purboy. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just go straight to what's intuitive, which is the beginnings and ends of all of these shapes. Ta-da! That's not gonna work, right? <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let's, uh... These are all in a shape together. One of them has to, has to go away. So let's... Let's retreat you. That's those two are in a shape together. No one else is very happy. So that corner is bad. Uh, let's get out of that corner. I'm, try, I'm, gonna try, I'm, I'm gonna try to just slide them up and down the shape here. To try to make them happy. Now those three are in a shape together, which is bad. But that one had to get out of that corner. This one also has to get out of this corner. Now all of them are in open space and everyone's gonna die. Um, this goes down here, but then there? Who's that? You. You, go join them. Go join him. Now one of you has to go back in the middle shape, so you would actually be good. This isn't this giant shape, so this has to get out of here, because that's only this spiral. So it has to go, the spiral goes like this, then like this. So that's... No, it ends there. Okay, it goes there. Yeah, I got... I got this entire shape is covered. It's only escape is that. But if I ki if I take this out, then this... Because it's so covered with the previous shape, this one doesn't have anything to pair with. So I guess you need to just go join him in the same shape. 
There we go. So this goes out like this, then down to here. That's where the other one is. This one pairs nicely here, but it has to go somewhere in this one. And since we just covered that 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 isn't going to be helping, that means it has to leave out past here. But now it's joining the one where there's four of them. So now I need to find ways to get them out of here. This is kind of a handy back and forth because like they have their we have these lines that they have to be on, so I can just slide them back and forth until they're in a place that makes sense. So ones on this line go can go along here, then the bottom row. Which is bad. Because all of that is within this open area. Except for here and here. And those are not combined into a shape with each other. But I think if I move you down to here, you're happy, and then I can combine that with you, which should make you happy? Okay. All of them are wrong! <laughs> All of them! Not even one of them works a little bit. Oh boy! Oh no! <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, so we have wiggle room with this one. I haven't really moved them. These are, these are not going anywhere. They're just sharing this one space. So, what do you do with that? Um, they can go up here together. Now those ones are happy. Those are the ones I've played with the least in this mess. We have four of them sharing a line right now, which is bad. But they can't go here. This one can go there. But it can't be joined by anything? Because this one's in that shape and... But it's also here. Like, this one can't go left to fix this problem. So which one can leave that shape? Are you going left? Still works with both of them. Anywhere else? You going left works with both of these, but doesn't fix the problem. You going up would break this. You going up would break this one. I'm just trying to see what I can slide. To muss up the results a bit. This one can go left. So it's out of the shape. The only one available to join the shape is that one or that one. That one is alone up here, but it's in this shape here. I'm just... Uh. <sighs> the number of possibilities to consider is draining. Okay. Might be time for another break after this one. It's a very difficult game to binge. Because it makes me sleepy. Everything, everywhere, all at once. 
I think we're gonna have to go back to this and go back to finding something else to get out of this shape. Which would mean joining this one up here, probably. Keep this highlighted. So you can go up there, but not there. You. Ooh. We did the thing. 